What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Odd Chopper channel. I am your host, Mike, better known as Narco Cop on Twitter, and this is Best Bets for UFC Kansas City. Um, Holloway versus Allen, great card, top to bottom. Love this fight night card. Great matchups. Uh, well done by the UFC. I'm very, very interested in this card, um, based both from a watching aspect and a betting aspect. Um, before I move on to my plays, I do want to, uh, give out a couple of things here. I would like, first of all, everybody to please hit the like, subscribe to our odd chopper channel. And once subscribed, hit that notification button so you can get all our videos here on the odd chopper channel. Um, get notified for every market here. We got NBA, NHL, NFL, you name it. Uh, great minds giving out free plays on this odd chopper channel. So yeah, guys, hit that notification button so you can get notified for all our videos here on the Odd Shopper channel. The other thing here is uh, Discord. I do want to talk about our Discord. Uh, half off first week. Uh, link down below. Hit that link. Join our Discord. Um, again, guys, just giving out a bunch of uh, uh, plays in there. Every market. NBA right now, currently with the playoffs. Um, NHL going on. Uh, golf, even golf plays in there, some great golf minds in there. And I also give my entire UFC Kansas City card in our Discord channel. I do give out all my plays there. So yeah, guys, join that Discord. Great community. Um, we all have fun in there chatting. You know, you can ask questions. You Most of the time you're going to get answered. Uh, and again, very, very uh, great community in there. So hit that link down below, half off for your first week in our Discord. With that being said, I do want to move on with our first play of the night, and that is in the Brandon Royval versus Matthias Nikolaou fight. And this is a very, very interesting fight. Um, Matthias Nikolaou coming in on a very hot streak, uh, has looked good in the UFC, um, is a very good uh, counter striker, uh, doesn't throw a lot of volume, right? He circles the cage. He's looking for his shots. And when he lands them, he hurts people. He has decent power for this division. Um, and he took out Matt Schnell in his last fight. Before that, he had a win against David Dvorak, where he looked good. Uh, he also had a win against Manel Cape. But I truly think Manel Cape won that fight. He got awarded the split decision. But I think Cape was the winner in that fight. Historically, Matthias Nikolaou fights close. He's not a guy that blows the top off. He doesn't throw a lot of volume. He doesn't have the best cardio, but he's a well-rounded fighter. He's very good on the ground. He's very good on the feet. So he's very well-rounded. Now, when I go back and watch the, the Elliott fight, um, he lost round one, clearly, and then he won rounds two and three. Round three was extremely close. Um, he did get the decision there. And his opponent in this fight, Brandon Royval, is very similar to a guy like Elliot. You know, he's unorthodox. He throws punches from weird angles. He throws all types of weird kicks. Um, he's dangerous on the ground. Um, he's constantly looking for submissions. He's a high-paced fighter. He keeps coming forward, throws a bunch of volume, has very, very good cardio, good durability. Um, it's hard to get this guy out of there. You know, in 20 fights total in his MMA career, he's never been knocked out. Um, and the thing here is, He's going to be throwing the volume. He's going to come forward. Um, if Matthias Nikolaou decides to grapple, um, he's going to make his life a living hell on the mat because he's constantly throwing up submissions. Um, he's very unorthodox, even on the ground. So in this fight, I see it playing very close. Um, you're getting a plus 180 tag on Brandon Royvel on BetMGM. I think that line is off. I see this fight. Uh, playing very, very close. I think this fight probably goes to the decision more than not. Um, and we're getting plus 180 on, on a guy that just is going to be throwing more of the volume, uh, is going to be constantly pressuring forward, and is going to make things uncomfortable for Matthias Nikolov. So with that being said, um, my favorite dog of the night is Brandon Royval at plus 180, currently on Bet MGM. Um, before I move on to my second play of the night, I do want to shout out our sponsor, Bet365. 
And currently with Bet365, you have a great promo. You deposit $10, you bet just one of those $10, and you instantly get $200 in bet credits that you can use on UFC Kansas City if you'd like, or you can use it in basically any market if you like. So uh, deposit 10 bet $1, and you get that $200 in bet credits on Bet365. Uh, I do also want to mention that Bet365 currently only available in Colorado, New Jersey, Ohio, and Virginia. And also, you must be 21 and older uh, in most states. And if you have a gambling problem, call or text 1-800-GAMBLER. Um, that's out of the way. Let's talk about our second pick of the night. And that is my favorite prop of the night. My favorite prop of the night here is going to be in the Tanner Bozer versus Ian Kutalaba fight. Um, Ian Kutalaba is just one of those guys that I consider a kill or be killed fighter. He's going to come out there. He's going to throw big shots, look for the takedown, immediately try to pass, look for the ground and pound. That's just how he fights. I mean, the guy is hell on wheels. He's coming forward, trying to take your head off. And, he, and you know, with that, He's going to try to get takedowns. That's his main thing. He's going to try to land takedowns and try to get you out of there. Now, Ian Kutalaba on a three-fight losing three. He's been stopped in all three of his last losses. Um, and now he's facing a guy in Tanner Bozer who's dropping down from heavyweight. Um, this guy fought at heavyweight. He was high at, as high as 250. Um, and now he's fighting at 205. Um He's also coming off a split decision loss to Rodrigo Nascimento and in a very, very close fight where he almost got Nascimento out of there in the third round. Now, Tanner Bozer has finishes in the heavyweight division. Um, in the UFC, he has three finishes in the heavyweight division. Um, he's faced Cyril Gan, Andre Orlovsky, you know, Ilya Latifi. Um, and in a couple of those fights, even though he lost, um, he almost knocked out Latifi in the second round. Nascimento fight. He almost had Nascimento out in the third round. Um, the guy clearly has decent power for heavyweight. And now he's dropping down to 205. I think that power is probably going to carry over, probably going to be a bit better here at 205. And the main, uh, the main thing that I saw here is the guy looked incredible on the scales. He weighed 203. He easily made the 205-pound weight class, and he looked absolutely shredded and muscular at 205. I think Ian Kutalaba's in for hell. He might get a takedown or two early. I think uh, Tanner Bozer gets up. He's got the better cardio. Um, and then once Tanner Bozer starts landing on him when Ian Kutalaba is tired, I think he gets him out of there. Um, currently. Tanner Bozer by KO plus 310 on Bet Rivers. Um, I like that prop. I mean, I, I don't think it should be that high. I think, like I mentioned, Ian Kutalaba is a kill or be killed type of fighter. I don't think he's going to be able to kill Tanner Bozer early um, because Tanner Bozer, historically, another guy, um, only been knocked out once very, very early in his career in 30 fights. Um, I don't think Ian Kutalaba is going to succeed here. And once he gets tired after shooting takedown after takedown, um, Tanner Bozer is going to be able to put on him, honestly, uh, at the maybe towards the end of round one and the beginning of round two. So I expect Tanner Bozer to get the KO here. It's plus 310 currently on Bet Rivers. That is my favorite prop of the night. And before I go on to my favorite play of the night, um, one more thing to shout out. Um, currently, we're giving out a promotion, a seven-day risk-free trial currently on oddshopper.com. You can get that seven-day risk-free trial by clicking the link down below. Um, and on the Odd Shopper channel, you just let that oddshopper.com uh, do the work for you. You know, it finds the best lines in every market. Uh, in which book you should go to. And it also kind of, you know, gives you some numbers there to play with, like what's EV, which plays are plus EV, uh, the amount of return on ROI and some of the plays. So yeah, you can play around in that uh, oddshopper.com uh, website and 
like I said, uh, you let it do the work for you and you let the, let it find you the best lines in all the major books. So currently, like I said, seven day risk free trial right underneath there by clicking that link. Now let's move on to my favorite play of the night. And that is in the main event. It is Max Holloway versus Arnold Allen, the up and comer that's undefeated in the UFC versus the guy that's been sitting there up at the top in the featherweight division for a while. I mean, Max Holloway's a legend, man. Uh, the guy's only 31 years old, but man, he's been in the UFC for so long. It feels like this guy's 50. Um, his last three losses, all to Alexander Volkanovsky, man. That guy has been his kryptonite, you know, and outside of that, the guy's been winning, winning, winning in the, in the featherweight division. He does have a loss to Dustin Poirier at 155. But again, this is in the featherweight division. He's looked extremely good in the featherweight division. Um, and in his last fight versus Volkanovski, I did see a little bit of a different Max in the sense that I saw him get hurt a lot more than I've previously seen Max Holloway get hurt. Like Max Holloway is, I mean, durable as they get, man. This guy is is crazy durable. You know, he's been subbed once early in his career against um, Dustin Poirier. But outside of that, like no one's ever stopped this guy. I've hardly ever seen this guy even hurt. Um, and then the last fight against Volkanovsky, which is no shame. Um, he did seem to get wobbled. He did seem to get hurt a couple of times, which is a bit of a concern. Now his opponent, Arnold Allen, has looked real good in the UFC. I mean, um, he finished uh, Dan Hooker with big shots early on. Um, came out in the first round against Calvin Cater. Looked great throwing big shots. Um, and then Calvin Cater sustained a knee injury. Um, you know, Arnold Allen's very explosive. Has a ton of power. But the one thing that Arnold Allen lacks, in my opinion, is cardio. He doesn't have great cardio. I, I saw that in the Sadiq Yusuf fight in the third round. He didn't look that great. Um, and Sadiq Yusuf doesn't bring the pace and pressure that Max Holloway brings. No one brings the pace and pressure that Max Holloway brings. Max Holloway has insane cardio. He has insane volume. It's just something that, you know, you can't really prepare for. You know, no fighter does what he does. And the amount of strikes that he throws in each and every fight is just insane. I mean, he landed over 400 significant strikes against Calvin Cater. Um, that's the thing I see here. Like early in this fight, I favor Arnold Allen because I think he will have the power early on to possibly hurt Max Holloway. But as this fight goes on, Max Holloway is going to keep coming. He's going to keep throwing volume. And that cardio, that pace and pressure is going to make Arnold Allen break. This guy's never been five rounds. Um, and now he's going to have to go five rounds through hell. And I don't think he makes it to the final bell if it lasts that long. So for me here, uh, my favorite play of this card is the Arnold Allen versus, um, Max Holloway fight doesn't go to decision at minus one Oh five currently on DK. Um, this fight ends either early for Allen or later for Max Holloway, Max Holloway, three, four, five is is where it's going to happen for him and Arnold Allen I think it's going to be one two if it happens for him so minus 105 here on DK fight doesn't go to decision I like that play uh, as my favorite play on this card um so let's go over a quick recap of our three plays um favorite dog of the night Brandon Royval plus 180 currently on bet MGM Favorite prop of the night, Tanner Bozer by KO, plus 310, currently on Bet Rivers Unibet. And our favorite play of this card, Max Holloway, Arnold Allen, fight doesn't go to decision, minus 105, currently on DK. Um, guys, before I get out of here, again, I do want to shout out our Discord, link down below, first week, half off. Also, at shopper.com, seven-day risk-free trial. Uh, link down below as well. And our bet365 promo, deposit $10, bet $1, get $200 
in bet credits. Um, and please, one more thing, guys, down below, hit the like, subscribe to our channel. Um, and that will wrap up our three plays for UFC Kansas City. I will see you guys next week. And like usual, let's cash those tickets for UFC Kansas City.